Okay, so welcome to another tutorial inside of Maya. Today I want to be talking to you guys about creating hard surfaces inside of Maya. But before I do that, I wanted to give kind of like two little announcements. The first one is that the YouTube channel actually has today at seven o'clock on a Monday night, uh, 1,018 subscribers, which is crazy when I think about it. But thank you very, very, very much to everyone out there. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for taking the time to look at this stuff. I honestly can't believe it. It's absolutely amazing that you guys want to actually have some more of this stuff. So I'm quite happy to keep making it. So thanks for that. And this week, I actually have a tutorial for you guys that actually is part of a tutorial that I already made last year that I shared and work with some of my students over here. And it's a great tutorial about how to make all of these shapes with hard and soft edges inside of Maya. Now, I'm going to add a link to this tutorial. It's a two part series as well, which shows you how to make all of these shapes over here. And it's a great piece of material for you guys to start understanding how to make complex objects inside of Maya. This is great for machinery, for building all types of interesting buildings, weapons, whatever you choose, it's absolutely great. But in terms of full disclosure, and while I'm adding a little video before we actually get started, um, I made this video last year because this is actually a tutorial that's based off another modeler's work, actually, which is a guy called Grant Warwick. And Grant actually made a series about how to create hard and soft surfaces that I used a really, really, really long time ago. I actually learned off this tutorials uh, you know, oh God, it's like almost nine years ago. That's a bit scary to actually think about it. Uh, but Grant actually made two tutorials for 3ds Max, which were really, really, really cool. Uh, the first one he published a long time ago in the area, which you can still find it, which is inorganic modeling fundamentals. And that's a three part series that is very similar to what I'm doing here right now. And then a few years later, Grant published another one on Vimeo, which is the Hard Surface Essentials. And this video is about an hour and a half long. And it looks into some of the material that exists inside of the inorganic modeling fundamentals. But he goes into a lot more detail in this one. And in my opinion, at least this tutorial is a lot more um, concise in terms of the information. This one is very, very, very practical. If you want a steroids kind of like lesson on how to do hard surface modeling, this inorganic fundamentals is an absolutely great series to look. It's in standard definition, so it's a little bit kind of like bitty at some point. But the question always comes to me is like, why did you go ahead and you made this tutorial over here inside of Maya? And the number one reason for that was because uh, working with my students specifically, I would always point them to the resource over here and I'd say, hey, if you want to get good at inorganic modeling, well, there's this great series by Grant Warwick, go out and learn how to uh, do inorganic modeling with this tutorial. And unfortunately, the problem that I had was that a large portion of my students, I'm talking almost like 70% of them, they had not really much of a clue of how to take the tools that Grant was using inside of Maya, uh, sorry, in inside of 3ds Max, and how to actually use them inside of Maya. So there was just this barrier that existed between the two things. And um, about a year ago, I just bit the bullet and I said, okay, fine, I'm going to explain some of the basic tools here with, you know, these eight examples which are inside my scene. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually take the smoothing mode inside of Maya, which is just a case of pressing the one and three keys over here, how to make curves and straight edges, how to cut different shapes into different polygon faces. These tools are so universal that you end up using them all of the time. But I really want to give credit to Grant's work as well, because it's 
a lot of his thinking and the way that I actually learned off this tutorials goes into this work, which again is the stuff that I try to pass on to you guys as well. So I think in terms of kind of like learning how to do this, the videos, they work really well just because they're in Maya 2016, they still are the same polygon modeling tools here, but I'm not going to get out of giving you guys some new Maya material just that easily either. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a tutorial this week as well. I might have to publish it a little bit later than what I'd like to. So I'm aiming for Thursday or Friday, but I will try and get it out to you guys as quickly as possible. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a brand new feature inside of Maya 2017, which is called MASH. And MASH is a character, uh, is a particle system slash motion graphics type tool that allows you to create procedural animations inside of Maya. And it's a real blast to actually be working with it. So I'm preparing a tutorial right now for you guys to actually publish this week as well. But I still want people, if you're learning, to take the time to actually look at this tutorial, part one, which hopefully I should add a link over here, hopefully. And there's also a part two to this tutorial as well, which you guys can look in your own time as well. Oddly enough, in the YouTube views, it's really weird because it's like 10,000 people who've seen part one and only like 300 people who've seen part two. So I'm going to make sure that there's a link to part two here as well. And if I am still sane and okay by the end of this video, I will probably now as I'm cutting off to you guys start preparing this MASH tutorial, which should be available a little bit later on during the week. So with that, keep learning, look at the material, look at a one year younger version of myself as well. And I'll be back next week on Tuesday to actually pass you guys on with the first texturing tutorial because I'm going to be doing a two part or three part series of creating textures that I'll be releasing every week, which actually I've already recorded. So the little mash video is a little bit of an extra for you guys because thank you very much for getting so many subscriptions to me guys. It means the world to me. And I hope you guys are learning a lot from this and keep working your 3D skills as much as you can. And if you want a really, really, really kick-ass workout, after you've finished all of these tutorials, head over to the show notes and I'll be adding links to all of Grant's uh, workshops as well. And you'll see that if you can build all of the shapes that he builds in his tutorials, you are very much set for understanding how to create polygon modeling. Don't listen too much to the tools. Try to figure out how to make them in Maya, but it's an absolute blast if you manage to make your way through it. So with that, keep learning, keep strong, and I will be back later in the week. And also I'll be giving you your first texturing tutorial next week on Tuesday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.